Hey there, I'm Claudia St. John, President of Affinity HR Group. We are your HR partner and resource. Today I wanted to give you three kind of innovative ideas on how to help attract talent when you're trying to hire. Um, you know, it's very competitive out there, so we're all competing for the same talent. Here are some ideas for you to consider. Pretty simple, uh, and maybe you've already thought about them, but the first is, I don't know if you've ever, you know, been to a ball game or taken your kid to college. The first thing they do is give you swag. They give you the branded material of this call of the college or of the sports league, and it makes you feel, you know, like a part of the team. It makes you feel like you want to join that group. You have that material probably laying around your house that you would give to clients or that you would give to employees. Consider giving that to your prospects so that they leave with the cup, with the sweatshirt, with the mug, whatever you've got, the bag, so that they have a reminder of you and they think, gosh, like I really wanna be a part of that team. Simple idea, not very expensive, especially if you've already got this stuff on hand. The second idea for you to think about is study after study shows that people want workplace flexibility. And that doesn't mean that you have to have all remote employees, but consider once your folks are trained and up and running, letting them work from home once a week. You can test their productivity and know how they're doing and studies show that they usually are more productive when they're working at home. Give them that opportunity. I mean, who really wants to sign up for their first job and know I'm gonna have to go to work at 8.30 every morning for the rest of my life? Let them know that they have options. And for your hourly workers, consider shift work, compressed work weeks, things that give them the opportunity to know that they too have flexibility. And if you've had some no-call, no-shows that you don't really know about, oftentimes those are the result of employees having to take time off of work because they need to take care of a sick one or a child or something in their family has happened and they need to take care of that. They didn't think they had the flexibility and so they just walked. Reach out to them, let them know that you care about them and that if their situation changes in their life, that you'd be willing to have them back. The third idea is that students these days entering the workforce, uh, people in the hourly workforce, a lot of these folks are starting off in life with a lot of debt, either student loan or credit card debt. Let them know that you're going to be their partner in helping them pay off that debt. There are even, even services out there that help you structure up loan repayment systems so that they know that they have the peace of mind. If they stay with you, you're going to help them alleviate that burden that may be keeping them from buying a home or starting a family. What amazing peace of mind that would be. And you're uniquely in a position to be able to do that for them. Also, if you offer a 401k, they may not even know what that means. They might have no clue about compound interest and how a dollar saved at the beginning of their work life means the possibility of being able to retire in relative comfort at the end of their work life. Teach them these things. Use these as an advantage and consider helping them with their debt load. It will tell them that you understand their position in life and you're there to help them. Just three quick, quick ideas for you. I hope it's helpful. I hope you're being successful in your recruiting efforts. I know it's tough out there. If there are topics you'd like us to cover, please reach out to us and let us know. And in the meantime, I hope you have a safe and productive work week. Take care.